I believe it was definitely an intentional act. Chris Garcia is the parent of a third grader at T.A. Brown Elementary School. He says he learned of Thursday morning's crash at the school through a text message. They didn't specify anything as far as the accident happened to the school. Then, you know, once I dropped off my child, uh, we saw the front was boarded up and uh, no communication was uh, told that there was actually a vehicle that was driven into the school. Austin ISD police say around 1.15, Austin police responded to an alarm call and discovered a vehicle had driven through the front of the building all the way into the school. The driver was sitting on the curb. For Garcia, who knows the school well and who had a hand in recent renovations, he says it's hard to believe this wasn't done on purpose. There's a lot of posts there, you know, with the uh, mezzanine that's there. Um, so they had to have uh, meticulously driven around certain things to, to actually drive into the school. AISD PD Chief Wayne Sneed confirmed Thursday that the driver of the vehicle was, in fact, one of T.A. Brown's school's own. Sneed says the person isn't suspected of being intoxicated at the time of the incident, but they were taken into custody after being treated for minor injuries at a hospital. It's a very unsettling feeling to realize that uh, the person that ran into the school is a, is a teacher or a staff. Um, a teacher, staff, is supposed to be someone that a, a child uh, student should be able to confide in, uh, um, trust. Right now, the teacher has not been formally charged with any crimes or identified. There's a lot of pieces to any type of criminal charge. You have to prove up intent, you know, uh, so the investigation is ongoing. AISD Superintendent Matias Segura says after learning about the incident, cleanup and repairs began. This morning, students were rerouted to the cafeteria to avoid the scene of the crash. Segura also says the teacher's involvement in the incident makes it a difficult situation and support is being offered to both students and staff. And for us, you know, because it is identified as a staff person, we want to make sure they're supported to the best of our abilities. Um, you know, and we're going to be really sensitive to it. We want to make sure that the focus is on our children. We understand that we need to provide the mental health and things like that, but this person needs to be removed from the children. In Austin, Monique Lopez, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.